I'm live. I believe. I'm early. Because this is the first time I've been able to go live on my phone. Hi guys. Because I reached my thousand. So now I can have decent quality videos while I'm going live because on my laptop that was vintage. It wasn't very good. I'm going to pull this up on my laptop too so I can see the chat. I'm all new at this. Hi, if you're just watching, it's probably my mother. I'm going to say it's my mom. Hi, mom. Okay. So this is new to me. I've not gone live before on my phone. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, trying to see if I can do this chat thing. Bear with me. I'm so sorry that I am failing miserably probably at this. But anyway, I'll go ahead and start talking. Uh, my daughter and I went to Goodwill yesterday. Uh, it wasn't planned. It wasn't a planned trip. She was having some is issues um, with the guy. So we wanted to go do something fun. So it was a totally unplanned trip. And we went ahead and went. Hi guys, if you're just joining. I'm live on my phone, so this is all new to me. So, um... Hi. Oh, hi. I'm, I'm looking at my chat on my phone, so I'm just going to try to go ahead and get on with this haul and hopefully we can figure this out together because like I said, this is the first time I've been able to go to use my phone to go live. Oh, there's the chat. Hi, Holly. It was taking a few minutes. I was very confused. Um, so since I has, have met my thousand subscribers, I can go live on my phone now, which is great because my computer is very, very old. So like I was saying, we went to uh, three Goodwills yesterday and I got some good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, but I'm th I know all of you that are watching live right now, hopefully you already subscribed to my channel. If you haven't, please do. Um, I do post content every day during the week, reselling content. Um, I go live every Thursday but I went ahead and tried to go live today because I wanted to go ahead and get this stuff shown so I can get it processed and get it all taken care of. So I have quite the stack here. Uh, I'll go ahead and get started with the hard goods. I did get both hard goods and clothing. Now, I'm being very picky with the clothing that I get. Hi, Angie. Oh, you just got to the bins. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Have fun at the bins. I, I really, I'm, I'm, I'm itching to go to the bins, no pun intended. Um, but I, I've got to get some, as you can see. But we went yesterday because Emma was having a bad day. We wanted to go ahead and, and do sh some shopping and get things. So I'll go ahead and start with the hard goods first. The first little guy that I got, it was 99 cents. Do you remember these? Do you remember these? Uh-oh. So this is a, um, they're slammers, silly slammers. He was 99 cents. I feel your pain. I don't know. Driver. They sell for like $12. So I went ahead and picked him up for 99 cents. I also got this. This surprised me. This is a Monty Pythons. Holy grail. I found the chalice, guys. I found the holy grail. Um, it is, it was $1.99. And it's just got like the little multi python, those little monks on there. Yeah, make sure that you hit the like. You forgot about silly slammers. I know I did too until I saw it yesterday. Um, make sure that you hit the like button, guys. That really helps me out. Okay, so this is multi pythons, holy grail. This is just a ceramic piece. It was made in China, which when I see this sticker, hi guys, hi thrifty space queen. When I see the sticker on hard goods, I normally just put it back. But I went ahead and stuck this in my cart and did a quick look up at High Thrifty Nickel. And these were selling for like $15, $16. So 
it's something new, something unusual to add to my shop. So I went ahead and picked this up. I mean, who doesn't love Monty Python? It's great. All right, I'm going to put the little silly slammers in that Monty Python. Okay, I also got this cake plate. This is a clear cake plate for $1.99. I have noticed that Goodwill is starting to mark these a little bit cheaper. Hi, Nicole. How are you? Goodwill is starting to mark these a little bit cheaper. I was seeing them for like $5.99 and $6.99. There's my mom. I knew she would, she would be here. Hi, mom. And I wasn't going to buy these for $5.99 and $6.99. But for $1.99, I will. And what I do with these clear cake plates is I spray paint them. I spray paint them like a fun color and I use them in displays. I don't really have any right now. I mainly take them to the shop. So I just bought a new spray paint that's like a jadeite color. So I'm going to spray paint this the jadeite color and then I'll use it at the shop to do displays with some height. So um, I will here, I'll do like a on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I'll do a before and an after uh, deal with these. So these are nice to buy and spray paint and just add some color and height to your house. So I got that. So like I said yesterday, we, we went to, or like I said yesterday, like I said just a few minutes ago. Um, hi Tammy. Uh, we went to Goodwill unexpectedly. My daughter was having a bad day, and we wanted to have some retail therapy. Jadeite spray paint. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not it's not called Jadeite spray paint, but it's at Walmart, and it is a Jadeite color. So you'll be able to see it. I'll try to, on Instagram, I'll, I'll post a picture of it. But since Emma was having a bad day with a guy, um... I saw this and I paid 99 cents for it as I'm ta taking the price tag off of it. It was 99 cents and I'm going to keep this and I'm going to hang this up in her room. So this is it. If you can read it, is it coming up backwards? Sometimes, you know, that happens with my videos. Everything's backwards. Before you meet your handsome prince, you've got to kiss a lot of toads. So I thought this was very fitting for the day. So this I'm keeping and I'm going to show it to her every time. Hopefully it's not going to happen much more in her life. But every time someone is being a jerk to her, I'm going to show her that. All right. It is true. Okay. So this next thing, I'm starting to make a little collection of these. And I'm hanging them. I have two little alcoves on each side of my sink. And I'm hanging them on each side. They're these little trivets. This is wrought iron. Hi, guys. Hi, TNT. Yeah, you had to kiss a lot of toads. I know, we all have to kiss a lot of toads. I was very fortunate because I've been with my husband since I was 16. So, I mean, I did kiss a lot of toads before him. Trust me. So, this was made in Taiwan, which, fine, I don't care. But I'm collecting these. This one has a cute little rooster at the top. And this one says, bless this house, O Lord, we pray, pray, make it safe by night and day. So, I just have these just various ones hanging and I'll I'll post a picture of them but um I just like these this one is not a Holt Howard my favorite ones are Holt Howard ones this one is not this one's just made in Taiwan it says down there well you can see in the middle it says made in Taiwan so this was $1.99 so this is something that I'm keeping okay another hard good thing that I got I don't know these seem very very well made I've never heard of this brand, but it's Two Saints, and they are spreaders. I paid $3.99 for these, which is really paying up for me at Goodwill. Because I am, don't normally pay this much, especially on a hard good thing. Especially on, I'm not even going to open this right now. But, these are very pretty. I don't know if you can see. They're kind of jeweled. They're just like little butter spreaders. They're very heavy. They're very heavy weight. I've not seen sold. I looked up active comps on them and they are listed for like $30. So I think they were sold at TJ Maxx. So before they made it to TJ Maxx, they were sold at a higher price somewhere else. But Two Saints two-piece spreader set. I'm going to try it. Something different 
it, it's good not to get bored with the same old things. It's good to try different things. Okay, I know I'm, I bought one of these. My mom bought another one, bought me one, but Butterbeer, these sell for me. I paid 69 cents for this. And they sell for about 10 to $12 for me. So, picked these up. And, oh, I'd like to have a Butterbeer right now. They were very good. Have you guys had a Butterbeer? Has anybody been to Harry Potter World in Orlando or in L.A.? And had a butter beer? Comment if you have. They're mighty tasty. And did you know that you can go to Starbucks and you can order a butter beer? You can Google the recipe. Sometimes you have to show them the recipe, but you can Google the recipe and they can follow it and they'll make you a butter beer. Now, it isn't as tasty as the ones that you get at Harry Potter World, but it's it's a close second. Okay, these next things I bought. We're sticking with the, I'm buying things just because they're different and I'm going to see how they go. Theme. That's going to be the theme for these hard goods because I got these. These are little Southwestern home interior plastic hanging things. Yes. Oh, I want to go to Harry Potter World again. I just want a butter beer. I really want a butter beer. A real one. Not one from Starbucks. These are... I bought these because the coloring in them is amazing. You see the teals and the pinks. They're very 90s. I don't think that there, there isn't a date on these. They were 99 cents a piece. So I paid $3 for the set of these. And <clears throat> I'm going to see how they do. They, they, they may not do well, but I just think that they're neat. So there's this one. Wall pockets. I have some little wall pockets that would match these. I think they're neat. The color is what gra is, is what gravitated me towards these. So there's this guy, and then the boot with the cactus, and then the hat with the um, branding thing. Butterbeer. Oh, it's so good. I got one thinking, oh, I probably won't like it. And then I think I refilled my cup like three times when we were there. I was addicted. I was obsessed with it. So these are very cute. We'll see how they do. This kind of stuff is kind of making a comeback. I've noticed. We'll see. Okay, so I paid 99 cents for this guy. I love these ugly bunnies. I have quite the collection of them. This just a, someone's painted this in ceramics class. It was 99 cents. Honestly, the creepier sometimes, the more I like them. But I, I have these set up on shelves in my home at Easter time. I also picked up this guy. He was also 99 cents. He interested me a little bit more because, yeah, Southwestern. I know. That's why I picked it up. The Southwestern stuff is starting to make a comeback. But this is this, and I can never, this is Pendle Finn. So the, the tag on the back of this guy intrigued me. He was made in England. And he's like a hard resin. Look how cute he is. He's got one little eye open. Now this guy I am going to sell. They sell for about eight or nine dollars. Um, this one is Peeps. But he is so cute. Uh, but I like the sitting up ones rather than the laying down one. So I'm keeping this one and I'm going to sell this one. In fact, I think in my purse I have, I went to a Goodwill like two weekends ago and um, they didn't have paper to wrap up my thing. So I threw them in my purse and they're still, I mean, I didn't throw them in my purse. I wrapped them in something in my purse, but I have, let me go over here and get it. I have a scary, kind of a scary, okay, yeah, he's right here. This is the kind of thing, this is the kind of thing that I like. Now, don't laugh because I love him. And I just, I do, I love him. Look. <laughs> look at his, look at his face. He's so poorly painted. But that's probably why I like him so much because this is what it would look like if I painted him. He was painted by D. D. 
You did a good job painting this bunny. I bought him for 99 cents, believe it or not. And I love it. This is the kind of stuff I like. I have these all over my house. Isn't he amazing? I got him a couple weeks ago, but he's been in the pocket of my purse. I'm going to go ahead and get him out and put him next to his little brown friend. So we have a pink bunny and a brown bunny. I think I also, I think I also have some birds in my purse. I do. I have some birds in my purse. Let me show you the birds that I got two weeks ago that I've been carrying around in my purse. Uh-oh. I'm only feeling one bird. I'm only feeling one bird. I'll have to find the other bird, but they're, they're exactly the same. So, scary fairy that's... Oh, I have, I have... I need to get caught up on Scott's videos, but... He's... Now, this is cute. It's just a little ceramic bird. I bought two of these. The other bird's somewhere in my purse. I have a random bird somewhere floating around in my purse. But he's just a little chick coming out of an egg. I also paid 99 cents for him. This is just MC. Just MC painted this one. But this will also go with my assorted collection of odd rabbits and Easter birds. So I got those. Those were in my purse. Okay, on to what I bought yesterday. Okay, these are shoes. Okay. Hey, you Disney people will like this. I, and I haven't looked him up or her up is he is the is the skunk from bambi a boy or a girl i think its name is flower so that would mean it's a girl maybe i don't know but i paid 99 cents for him he's so cute or her i don't know but it's from disneyland it's a girl i think yeah i think so too boozy bunnies oh you I love, I love weird things. And Nicole, I have a box that I, that I have ready that I need to send out to you. I got it all um, packaged up, but I haven't sent it out. So I'm sending you some friend mail. Um, Disneyland, Walt Disney World. And I was looking, he was 99 cents. I don't know if he is vintage. I can tell by the tag, but, or she. Hi, Jewel Butterfly. Good morning. I think it's a girl, too. See, I don't like Disney movies. I know. I don't like old Disney movies. They just, they they bore me. I know everyone's taking a big gasp because they're classics. I don't, they bore me. I don't like Disney movies. Now, when my kids were little, I would have to watch them because, you know, I'm forced to. But, and I love Toy Story, and I'm going to see that probably sometime this week. We were going to see it yesterday on $5 day. I mean, yes, it's a good deal for a movie, but I'm not. I just can't. I'm not going. It was going to be crowded. I didn't want to. Good morning, Game Changer. So, Flower is very cute. And I don't know what she is worth, but I got her for 99 cents. I thought it was, she was worth picking up for 99 cents. You don't see her very often. Okay, I got a couple puzzles. This was $2.99. This they're brand new because the only time I buy puzzles is if they are still seal wrapped. This one is made by Eurographics, which is a brand I've never heard of, but it is the Canadian Pacific has a Canadian Pacific train on it. So I thought this would be good. It's made by well, it says Simple Pastimes, which I think that's just the name of the store that it was bought from. But the puzzle brand itself is Eurographics. You can see there. Kind of. It's a thousand piece puzzle. So these will sell well, especially around the holidays. But whenever I can buy sealed puzzles, I do. This one, the shrink wrap is coming off a little bit here. But this one is a Springbok. And I have it upside down. Which is a brand that I do know and I do sell well. This one is Merry Old Santa. And it has a lot of Santas on it. It's supposed to be 3D. I don't know if this is one of those things that you build it and then you step back from it and you see like it's coming to life. I can never do that. Those never work for me. Oh, this was this was made by Hallmark or was put out by Hallmark. And at one time it was $9.95, which is very cheap for a puzzle. It's dated 1994 on the back there. So I picked that one up. That one will obviously sell better at Christmas time. Okay, the last 
hard good item that I bought is something that I'm super excited about. And when I show this to you, you guys will, I think that you will appreciate it as well. But who remembers these? Do you remember the Fisher Price cassette players? Do you remember them in brown? Because I do. I haven't tested this to see if it works. It was $4.99. The battery compartment is very clean because that's one thing that I do always check out. The ones that I had seen, they were kind of all over the place. I had seen some that had sold for $15.99. I had seen some that had sold for $49.99. So it just kind of depends on when you are listing them and who sees it. Honestly, it, it sometimes that's that's all that matters. This one is this one is dated 1980. So I'm hoping that it works. I also had seen some that were listed that said parts. So I will be testing this out and seeing if it works. The, the eject works just fine. The buttons are not frozen down while the record is because you have to have the tape in it to record but it's in very clean good condition so i'm excited to see what this will do i think that the newer ones were like the ones from the 90s were blue i believe blue and red and yellow all right so that is all i got as far as non-clothing ish relock items yeah i need to find teddy Re ruxpin I have found Teddy Ruxpin parts, and I have sold Teddy Ruxpin parts, meaning I've sold cassette and books, and um, there was one, there was some kind of an electric add-on that you can get, and I sold it too, but I've not seen, I've not found an original Teddy Ruxpin, that would be amazing. Okay, I got these two CC beanies, they were 99 cents a piece, I'm keeping these. A black one and an ivory one. I have a gray one already. So I'm going to wash these up. And keep these for myself. Okay, shoes. I love selling shoes. I do very well with shoes. Shoes move quick. And they usually give you a much higher of a return than clothing. In my opinion. Uh, so I bought these. And all the shoes in my Goodwill are $4.99. So all the shoes that I'm about to show you were $4.99. I got these Adidas Samoas. They're in really good condition. And that's the other thing. I'll only buy shoes if they're in hardly needing me to clean them condition. Uh, I found a pair, a couple pair of Lucky Brand flats that were really dirty. And I said, I'm not going to mess with them. I know that I can sell them. They do sell, but they're dirty and I don't feel like cleaning them. These are in excellent condition. They're a size women's, no, men's, seven and a half. But I mean, women could wear these too. So they're a small size, but they're in excellent condition. So I picked those up. Oh, where to put all this stuff? These are heavy. Hi guys, hi Rosie. Welcome. These are a high test steel toe slip on shoe. Hi, Ramp Creek. I do very well with steel toed shoes. Uh, these are in excellent condition. I'm gonna pick one of them up because they're heavy. And these are a size men's seven. So these are also a smaller size and they've got the high test here. These uh, sell for about $30, $35. I've seen, I've seen some sell for about $45. So these are, I always do well with steel-toed shoes. Especially women steel-toed shoes. Um, I found a pair of Red Wing tennis shoe steel-toed shoes that I sold for like, I want to say $55. I've not sold these before either, but these are bear traps. These are just a slip-on flat yes hit the like button guys that helps me out a lot i'm getting close to my watch time too which is really exciting so these are very cute these are in excellent condition honestly guys i don't think that these have ever even been worn they do not look like they have ever 
been worn. So Bear Creek, these should also sell for about $25, $30. And they were $4.99. These I've got thinking that I was going to keep them for myself. They're a little big. Actually, they're a lot big, so I'm going to be selling them. But they are just these Nike tennis shoes here. It has this gray and teal is my favorite color combination. These are a size 9, and I wear a size 8. So I don't know what I was thinking. I'm not keeping these. But they're in excellent condition as well. And these are, I mean, they've got the style number in, on the inside, but on the, the tag it says Nike Free TR Fit 4. So these will also sell for probably about $35. This is a brand that I have never heard of before. Comment below if you have heard of the brand BZs. BZs. Never heard of this brand before, but you know, when you're walking by, because in my Goodwill, they have all of the shoes on top of the clothing racks, kind of like slanted like that. And so you, I just kind of go through and, and look at all the shoes before I look at any of the clothing. And here's the little label here, BZ. So I saw these and I thought, I thought at first of them that they might have been Dansko's. Um, the area that we go thrifting in is close to a very large hospital. It's close to Indiana University. Um, so you find, a, I find a lot of Danskos there. So I thought maybe these were Danskos, but Rosie's Closet. Yeah, I've never heard of these BZs before. I've never seen them before. Hi, Tina. Well, thank you for coming to my channel. Nicole is awesome. I love her. She makes me happy. Her voice just makes me happy listening to her voice when I'm, um, listening. So I love Nicole. So BZs, they have a memory foam. These have never been worn. These sell for about $40, $45. So these are going to be listed very, very soon. They're in great condition. So B BZs is a brand to look out for. These next two shoes are another brand that I have never heard of before. But as I was walking through, I could smell the leather on them. And so I knew that they were going to be a good brand to look into a little bit further but they are i'm trying to find i guess on the bottom here it is a bed stew now these are probably a really wide known brand and people are like you're nuts you've never heard of that brand before no i have not heard of this brand before in southern indiana bed stew b-e-d-s-t-u but these are a great shoe Bed stew is a great shoe. Thrifty, do you see those in Indy? Because I don't ever see these down here. Thrifty Nickel goes to um, thrift stores in Indianapolis, so they're a little bit more highfalutin up there than, than the thrift stores down here. But these are a really pretty sandal. So I found this pair, and I found a black pair as well. Um, they both fit me. I'm not going to keep these, though. I kept the Eileen Fisher black sandals you you recently found a pair awesome i've never heard of this brand before uh but they're they're just amazing they, they have the label here anytime that you see a brand that has labeling on the outside usually a pretty good sign if there's some kind of stamp there that they're a quality shoe but i mean not that i want to i like to smell someone's used shoes but these smell really good they smell really good like leather is fantastic yeah i'm sure they're probably they're very reminiscent of a fry to me the fry brand shoes um so if i found these in a pair of boots i'm sure the boots probably do amazing a used pair on ebay sold for 79 dollars. i know i looked up the comps too because i originally saw these and i thought oh i'm not gonna get them because there's a little way i mean they are a little worn you see on the bottom here they're still in great condition, and that's why you can tell that these are a very, very well-made shoe because they are worn, and the shoe themselves are still in amazing condition. See, there's a little bit of wear here on the back, so I thought, oh, I'm going to try them or not. I have a lot of stuff, so I'm being very picky, but then I looked up the comps, and I thought, okay, these are selling for like $80. Um, these are size 8s. These are size 8s. Both of them are. Let me just double check to make sure. 
but I tried them on last night. Sometimes finding the size is is a um, adventure in itself. Yeah, here they are. They're size eight. They're both the size eight. So these are really good shoes. I was really excited about these. Okay, so those I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna take a drink real quick. I'm gonna get on with the um, the clothing haul. I found some good stuff now. Everything, I spent $115 yesterday on everything that I bought. Some of the things that I'm going to show you, um, well, everything that I'm going to show you are things that I bought for resale. But I did find probably 15 shirts for my daughter and I. We're going on vacation soon. And, you know, I don't pay, I don't pay retail on any of my clothing. So we were looking for some vacation clothes. Now, I will be buying new bathing suits. We do buy new bathing suits. But uh, we were looking for clothes to go to wear on our upcoming vacation. And we found a lot. And I didn't, I, I didn't think people would care about those. So I didn't. But comment, if, if you want to see everything I buy on my hauls, even the things that I buy for myself, leave me a comment if that's what you'd want to see. I just didn't think you guys honestly would care about the things I'm buying to keep for myself. I think that most people are just interested in things for resale because that's, we, we get ideas of what why people are picking up certain things. So the first thing, I, well, but I did get a pair of shorts for my son. I don't know why those are still in there. I got a pair of shorts for my son. They're just basketball shorts. They're nothing special. Okay, so now the first thing that I got is this Patagonia, which finding Patagonia in these here parts is a bit odd. So whenever I can find it, I grab it. Um, this was on the, one of the carts that they were coming out. Okay, Nicole. Well, maybe the next time I'll see. I just didn't think people would care because they're just like t-shirts and, and things like that. But, um, so this is a Patagonia organic cotton button up shirt. It's a men's, uh, there isn't any, I don't think. I didn't see any logo on the chest, any outer logo. If I myself am buying something, Patagonia or an expensive brand, I want someone to see the label. So there isn't a label, an outer label on this. So it probably won't do as well as if there was a Patagonia patch somewhere on the collar. But anytime I can find Patagonia, I buy it. Oh. Here's a shirt that I bought for myself. See, I left one thing in here. It's just a, it's just a gray shirt. It was half price. Blue was half price. So I paid $2.25 for myself a shirt for vacation. There you go. Okay. This next thing I got is, it has a safety pin in it. So I think that there's a safety pin in this hat because it is not an adjustable hat. And they wanted to make it smaller. Probably for a child. This is a Winnie the Pooh hat. It's very retro looking. Very 90s looking. It is just a, you know, an elastic band hat. It is, there's the tag on there. I'm just trying to see if there's a date on here anywhere. 2002, no. No, it's not 2000. 2000 the zip code. There's no date on it, but this is very 90s. This is a 90s, very 90s looking hat. The hats at my Goodwill are 99 cents. So I got that. And then I picked up this Torrid. Here's the label. Size three. This is a, a embroidered, like a baby doll tank. I do very, very well with Torrid, especially on Mercari. <clears throat> Hi, Jared. <clears throat> Well, next time I will keep all my crap in there too. You got you got to see a couple things, but um, anyway, Torrid does very well for me, especially on Mercari. So this is a size three. So with the bigger sizes, usually the better. So I picked that up. I also picked up this Torrid top. This is a super soft knit. It's a size zero. This is a shirt that I'm, hello from Brazil. This is a shirt that I kind of think I might keep for myself. I don't know. I'll have to try it on and see. It's just a gray and it's 
got the lacing up the top. I, I'm going to try this on to see if I like it. It's very soft. It reminds me of the, the, the American Eagle, the, the perfect tees. It's very reminiscent of that, the material. It's 95% rayon and 5% spandex. So <laughs> this was $4.49. So we will see. I'll try that on. I, I, I'm trying to get things with some color in it because I like dark, like muted color. So I tried to pick up a few things for myself with some color in it. Um, this is a vintage Tommy Hilfiger uh, thermal. Here is the flag on the back. And this is what I mean about branding. People want to see the branding on the back or on the front. And this one has the flag logo on the front. This is a size extra large. The great thing about this is that it was half price. So I paid $225 for this thermal. It's a thermal Henley. All right. The next thing, I do well with this, um, these Disney shirts. I'm going to button this top button so you can see it a little bit better. This is a vintage Disney store um, shirt. You can see the Disney characters. They are embroidered coming out of the top of the Henley. Here's the tag. It's Disney store. This is a size medium, but this is a big medium. I would say this is more like a size large. It's a really cute yellow. So I picked that up. Oh, here's a shirt that I got for my husband. As a, I say jammy shirt. Do you call pajamas jammies? I call them jammies. It's a fun design on the Disney, Disney shirt. I know. I thought it's very cute. And, and that kind of stuff is really making a comeback. So I call pajamas jammies. Uh, and even for my husband, they're his jammies. He just sleeps in like a t-shirt and basketball shorts. But I got this for him for a jammy shirt. It just has Homer Simpson on it at the grill. Finally going to upgrade my store. Oh, good for you. I'm considering upgrading my store because I have met my listing limits and I'm paying 25 cents a listing and that kills me. So I'm trying to make some drafts and just hold out and just like post a couple things a day and just hold out until July 1st. So I'm teetering on that. Do I want the expense of upgrading my store? You call them PJs. I, we call them jammies. Uh, so I, I'm interested. So are you going from a basic to the next level up, which is what, $75 a month? Uh, I don't know. So I, I'm teetering on that too. Paying this, uh, you, oh, you didn't have a store at all. Oh, awesome. Definitely, definitely. Um, if you are... If you're doing this full time, you honestly need to have you honestly need to have an eBay store. It's twenty five dollars a month, which at first kills you. What I like to do with my eBay fees is I pay mine every Friday. Every Friday, I pay my fees. I pay them every week. I used to not do that, and I hated hated getting that like three four hundred dollar bill. So you can go on to eBay and you can pay you can pay them every day if you want to. Um, I pay mine every week just because it makes it, I mean, in the big scheme of things, you're paying the same amount. Hi, Land Shark Picker. How are you? $27. I think it is. I have to look. It's been a while since, um, since I started my, my store, but I pay my fees every week. It's just easier for me. Um, it, it, it makes it not hurt as bad if I pay them every week. That's just what I do. Some people don't like to do it that way. That's the way I like to do it. Okay, guys, I got some vintage single stitch t-shirts that I'm super excited about. And I hope that they do well. This one is one of them. The brand is All Sport Power Weight. It's made in the USA. <laughs> Can I pay? No, I can't pay your fees every week. Uh, I would love to be able to pay everyone's fees. But... Paying mine hurts enough as it is. It, it really does. But paying them once a week hurts a lot less. And they kind of keep it hidden. You kind of have to look for a... It's like an itty-bitty little print. You can pay your pallets now. They, I think that they... I don't know why they want you to pay it all at once. And, But yeah, it's itty-bitty. But you can do it. 
you can pay in every day. But someone, I was following a, a thread, I think on Facebook, and someone was going a little nuts because they wanted to pay their fees after every transaction. So they would make a sale and they would go in and they wanted to pay their fees right then and there, which that would make me crazy. Why would you do that? I know. Uh, trust me. I, it, I thought, why do you want ever, after every transaction, every transaction? Yes. Land ship, land shark. I'm always calling you land ship, land ship, land shark. eBay should, there should be a lot of things that eBay should be making a little bit easier. A lot of things. We could probably do a whole video on talking about the things that they Craig. Craig. Hi, Craig. <laughs> I'll just call you Craig. We could probably do a whole um, video on the things that eBay would be. Um, but we'll save that for another time. So we'll get back to this cool vintage single stitch. And single stitched, you know, guys know that there's only one stitch here in the seam. Yes, they should. I agree. They should take their, as soon as someone buys something, then you get, you get your money and there's no waiting around for a week. Like I've had three people, three people that I'm still waiting on them to pay me. And they're the ones that sent me the offer. And then one guy says, well, I want to cancel this offer because I just don't want to buy it anymore. I'm like, you cancel the offer. You cancel the order then. I'm not canceling the order. If you want to cancel the order, you cancel the order. And they did, but it's just irritating. Okay, are you ready for the shirt? I've, hold, I've held it in my hands long enough. It is American Trucker Single Stitch. I don't know where this is from or what it's all about, but I think it's awesome. And I really wish that I had it a long time before now because this is a great shirt for the 4th of July, which is, in my town, all the festivities and the fireworks are this weekend. So, yeah, I thought this was cool, too. It's a size large. It's in excellent condition. So I was like, super excited about that. This next single stitch shirt that I got, at first I was even, I was great, greatly excited. But, but then my husband says, oh, well, it's not too vintage. So he kind of, he kind of deflated me a little bit. But it is from Changes. It's pre-shrunk, 100% cotton. Here's the tag. It's a size medium, made in the USA. It is a transformer shirt. This, to me, looks like, I mean, it is screen printed on, and it is dated not Hasbro 19, ooh, it's 1999. So I thought this was really cool, too. And it is also a single stitched. Let's see, there is single stitching right there when my daughter and i and really when any of us go thrifting we're always on the hunt for those single stitch shirts and we'll put them all in our cart and then we're like yeah no 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 so that's what we did yesterday too my daughter found a couple cool ones too but we decided not to get them but this one i thought was great just because of the subject matter on it you know what guys i do have clothes in here that I, it's my daughter's clothes that I didn't put in here, but my clothes are in here. These are a pair of jeans that I got for myself. They're just Old Navy Rockstar um, skinny jeans. So I got those for myself. And I got these UMI, which are from the buckle, these ankle uh, skinny jeans. Those for myself. And I'll go ahead and get all my jeans out of the way. And I like this brand. This is like my favorite brand of jeans are these jeans from Penny's. The St. John's Bay skinny jeans. I like them. I buy them. Um, I have a pair now that I've almost worn out. But I like these St. John's Bay skinny leg jeans. They're stretchy. I, agree. I like them. I sell on Facebook fabric groups. I do best fabrics. Oh, awesome. Or do you mean like fabrics as far as like when people can make clothing or or fabrics like vintage fabrics and table linens and that kinds of things? I'm curious to know. Okay, this next shirt I bought for myself. I love it. I'm so excited about this shirt. It is made by The Loop, which I have no idea what that is. It's a size extra large. Look at this. It says Freedom Rocks, and it's got this eagle. It's 
got an angel on it. It's got an eagle on it with this fringe on the side. I, I love this shirt. I probably will wear this on the 4th of July. Quilters. Oh, awesome. That's cool. My mother-in-law uh, makes quilts. She makes quilts for my kids all the time. I wish that's something. That I could, I'm just not a sewer. I wish I could. Quilting groups are super popular. That's great. It's great to find a niche. And then, and then if you have something that interests you, and then you're actively looking for all those things, then it gets you excited inside. And especially when you do the Facebook groups and it's just a passionate thing. I think that's awesome. I think that's great. This was $4.49. It's a shirt for myself. I'm keeping that one. Oh, here's a shirt that I bought for my dad. I thought I separated these. Apparently not. This is a shirt that I got for my dad. It's just from San Diego. Full of fabric. Yeah, my mom. My mom has, she has a craft room full of all kinds of things. So this is from Old Town San Diego, which is one of my favorite places to go. So it's just a super soft shirt with an old car on it. So I got that for dad. It was $1.99. All graphic t-shirts are $1.99. Those vintage t-shirts that I just showed you, the single stitch, they were also $1.99. Okay. Oh. Okay, here's another shirt that I bought for myself. My mom loves to sew. She made your wedding dress. Awesome. Jean material. Yeah, you could sell jean material. Absolutely. People make all kinds of crafting things with that. All kinds of things. I think I saw Crazy Lamp Lady on her video last night. I think that she found a hat in the thrift store that was made from blue jeans and Sue tried it on. Good morning, Grandma. Okay, so this shirt. Okay, I love cats. Cats are my favorite. I am a crazy cat lady. This shirt. Rip. Rest in peace, Grumpy. Grumpy Cat just recently died. I loved Grumpy Cat. Look at his little face. But it says love stinks. This is a shirt that it's just going to be a jammy. It's a jammy shirt for me. It's just probably made, it probably was sold in Target or Walmart or one of those stores. I know. Rip. Rip. Come frumpy. This is just a big oversized shirt and I am keeping this. I love cats. My cat is somewhere around here. I'll show you Bella in my mess. Oh, where is she at? There's Bella. She's a big dog on a little pillow. And the other crazy ones outside, Brutus. Okay, on with the haul. Okay, I bought... Oh, and I paid... Believe it or not, I paid $4.49 for that grumpy cat shirt. I know. But I had to have it. It's a little crazy to spend that much on it, but I did it anyway. I paid $4.49 for this shirt. It is a, let me button the top button so you can see it a little bit easier, but it is a Harley Davidson size extra large. It's a, it's a long sleeve Henley. That's what I was trying to think of. But it has green, army green on the side here. It has an embroidered logo patch there. It's just a great shirt for $4.49. This will sell well in the fall. Another shirt that I picked up for, I, for $1.99. I'm telling you what, I love looking through the graphic t-shirts for $1.99. For $1.99. I just love it. They're just, they're just fun for me. But this is an Adidas size large. And I thought it was cool. I love Chicago. I do love Chicago. My daughter just went there. Daughter just went there last weekend. And I made sure she brought me back some Garrett's popcorn. Comment down below if you as well love Garrett's popcorn. And honestly, I made myself sick on it. I ate so much of it. And it is the, the, the Chicago mix. Trefoil keyword. Yeah, I've heard of that before. That's a good tip. Thank you. Trefoil, which is this logo right here. Thank you, Craig. That's an awesome tip. Hi, Lena. You just got home from work, girl. Oh, $1.99. How much are they? Are your um, graphic t-shirts where you guys are from? Um, but the Chicago mix, 
Garrett's popcorn is, which is cheese popcorn and caramel popcorn all mixed in together. Man. So this is awesome. And it's very, I, this looks like it's maybe been worn once. So it's in great condition. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, that's just a, that's just a, a fake. But then I saw the, the tag on the inside and it was legit. $1.99 for that. This shirt, I'm super excited. Our t-shirts for a dollar. Wednesdays, ooh, gosh, that'd be fun. This shirt, I don't even know what, um, who made this shirt because it's so, it's vintage. I do know that. But the tag is just, it's just beyond. So two things. I don't know who made it and I don't know what size it is, but I had to buy it. I paid $4.49. For this shirt but it is a vintage Honda it's a long sleeve Honda I'm assuming like motorcycle shirt but it has the Honda logo on the sleeves this is a very 1980s at its finest so there's Honda logos on the sleeves I do very well with new Honda shirts so and this is <laughs> this is an excellent condition guys it is so good. I'm going to say that it's a size large. It appears to be a size large. It's just, it's amazing. This is amazing. It's amazing. It feels vintage. It smells vintage. It's just vintage great. So I'm super excited about that. Honestly, that shirt I probably will sell for about $40. So I'm with, with ease. All right. This next shirt is probably the ugliest shirt I've ever seen in my entire life. But, I not, and I also, I, it, it gets better. $1.99 for this shirt. It was mixed in with all the other graphic t-shirts. And it's ugly. Ugly. But, when I was, you know, flipping through the racks, I felt it, you know, and it felt good. So, after I, then I looked at the tag. And comment if you know this brand, but this is Hudson Outerwear. Okay, so you guys have heard this brand before, I'm sure. This is a super expensive brand, super expensive. Um, new, these shirts are about $80, $85 for a t-shirt, for a t-shirt, $80, $85. But, okay, it's ugly. It's camo, but it's got, I don't know what this is, let me some sort of a creature um with hearts and it's eating you at the side so you're wearing this this is the side of the shirt so you're wearing it and something is eating you on the side of you of your shirt it's got leather ah oh, this isn't leather this is screen printed this is screen printed but it's all embroidered this is like silky, and then this is all embroidered. Used, these sell for about $35. Yeah. Yes, hit the like button, guys, please. How many likes we got? There are 33 people watching and 19 likes. So you guys hit that like button. Is that what it's called, eat your heart out? I mean, is that legit what it's called? Hi, Bobby. Cause I haven't really, I haven't looked up like, like what style or what this is. Something is eating you on the side. <laughs> yeah, something is eating you on the side. But this is a good shirt for $1.99. Uh, I'm excited about that. And in fact, the checkout girl at the checkout counter said, my brother bought one of these shirts and, and paid $80 for, for a shirt. And I said, I know. Well, make sure that you go home and tell him that you rang up a shirt and it's for $1.99. This is why you thrift, people. This is why you don't pay retail on your clothing. All right. This next shirt, I don't know. I have another shirt similar to this. Well, it's not similar to this style, but it is the same brand. And let me button it for you so you can see it a little bit. But it is... Tommy Bahama. It's 100% silk. It's a size extra large. It's just 
Tommy, Tommy Bahama Hawaiian shirt. It's got the shell buttons, which always make sure when you're looking at these that you run your finger to make sure that they're all there. Because I have bought shirts and they're not all there. Yeah, I like the colors too on them. But you want the Tommy Bahama shirt? It's an extra large, Mom. It's not his size. Sorry, my mom is watching. It's an extra large. So I got that. And then the last, is this the last? Yeah, this is the last. The last thing, no, I got one more thing and I'll bring it over here. This is, my daughter bought this, but since you guys want to see what we bought for ourselves too, um, I'll go ahead and show you. She paid a $3.99 for this. And it's just a little picture. It says, hello, darling. She's going to hang that in her apartment. She's going to say hello, darling, to herself. Um, this is a Magnolia Lane collection. It's a women. This was, um, as I was checking out, they brought out another cart. I hate when they do that because I'm like checking out. And then they wheel out another clothing cart and I'm like, Wait a minute. So I just kind of, there was nobody behind me. So I did look through it real quick. And then I found this. And you guys know this is a Masters. So this is a good logo to look at for. Now I've sold men's Masters shirts before. Um, and you know, it's the Masters Cup, which is a golfing thing if you don't already know that. But um, I've not sold a women's. So I don't know if the women's is going to be as good as the men's. But it's just a full zip pink little golf lightweight sweatshirt. I paid $4.49. No, I paid $5.99 because they consider this a jacket and jackets are $5.99. So I don't know if the women's will do as well as the men's. And again, it's the market's a little flooded with this stuff. So maybe I shouldn't have bought it, but it was an impulse buy at the end um, of my checkout time. So that's what I got. Um, I will go ahead and show you while I have you on here. I will show you a few things that uh, we picked up at a yard sale. That are, I, th I did an Insta story, I think, on these. But we picked up, and I got one up here too. We picked up these. Hudson is a shirt. Oh, okay. The teeth are the eight teeth from Bape. I'm going to write that down because I will forget that. Bape. Okay. I'll write that down. Thank you for that information. I have, I've never heard of that brand before, but I knew that when I was going through the racks and I was searching, it felt good. So I knew to, to look it up even a little bit further, but thank you for that information. Uh, these, we got, my dad picked these up at a yard sale. They were 25 cents. You're the guest speaker. Ooh, yay. I'm going to, I will jump on. Okay, so go to the, the the Thrifty Viking channel on Instagram and watch the Thrifty Nickel will be on there. Yay! Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see that. So, Dad picked these up. He paid 25 cents a piece for them, and they are these Inesco Garfield statues. I'm keeping this one. I At least I'm keeping it for a little while. You will jump in after this. Yeah, I know. Me too. I'll, and I'm almost done. I'll keep these, this one for a little while because I am a Gemini, but then we have a Pisces and Sagittarius and an Aries and a Virgo. So he paid 25 cents a piece for these and they all have their Inesco stickers on the bottom. These sell for like $24, $25 a piece on eBay. So pretty good. Um, the only one that has a little bit of an issue is the Mermaid. Garfield, and I don't know. Yeah, it is a little teeny, teeny, tiny chip right there. But look at that. Look at that. That's just, that's amazing in itself. Yeah. You, you're a Sagittarius? Well, I have a package coming to you, Nicole. Do you need the Sagittarius? <laughs> I know they're the Pisces is adorable. I mean, this is great in itself without it even being, you know, a, a Sagittarius or a Pisces. But then the Gemini, uh, 
I love that. I have to keep that one. The Bape is not a hoodie. Or the Hudson Bape is a just a t-shirt. This is a Virgo. The thing that that it says, let's see, Nicole. Let's see. This is what it says about you, about a Sagittarius. Very expressive, has an open mind, is friendly and sincere, can sometimes be irresponsible and tactless. Oh well, nobody's perfect. That's what it says there. Yep, mom, you are a Sagittarius. The Gemini says entertaining, obviously, versatile, somewhat, witty, logical, spontaneous, yes, and charming, the kind of person you would love to hate. Um, let's see, I haven't read all of these. Virgo, this is Virgo, it's like a little angel. It says, discriminating, finicky, very meticulous and analytical, and uh, simply stated, a picky worrywart. August through September. I'm trying to think of who I know that has that birthday. And then Aries is the goat. Um, <laughs> they were talking a lot about all the bad qualities. Courageous, blunt, and direct. This person has the compassion of a rock. That's not me. <laughs> just a, they've got a compassion of a rock. Um, the, this one I think is the funniest one. Let me read what Pisces says. Pisces is February 19th through March 20th. An introvert, full of deep emotions, and seems to be very intuitive. A fishy character who probably works for scale. So I thought these were great. For a quarter apiece... Yes. Good job, Dad. He did come by today. He just came by before I did this video. He went to a yard sale on Wednesday. I mean, that's kind of, I bet there's nobody there. Probably would be a good day to go. He And he bought some things that I probably wouldn't have bought. I mean, he bought one thing that's pretty cool, but most of it, and he spent a little bit more. I think he just wanted to buy things, honestly. I think that's what it, what it is. Okay. So that is the video for today. I, I'm glad that I went ahead and did it like this because otherwise I would do a haul video and I would edit it and it, and that takes so much time. And I have, let me just show you. Those things have been listed. Those things I have to list and I'm gonna make you sick. These things other than the puzzles all need to be listed. So I have a lot of photos that have been taken and I need to get them listed. So, doing a live video works out much better for me. So, I think I'm still going to go ahead and go live tomorrow um, just for a chit-chat. I think I'm going to go live tomorrow and do my, um, I bought a um, Thread Up Fun Box. I haven't opened it yet, but I can only imagine. So I'm going to open up my Thread Up Fun Box tomorrow and my FabFitFun. We're going to talk about those two things tomorrow on my live chat. Uh, and so I'll be going live tomorrow. And as I'm sitting here talking, do I go live at 10 or at 9? I don't remember. I don't know. I thought today was Thursday. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's not. This weekend's going to be a crazy weekend because the shop we're running a huge sale nine thanks nicole nine o'clock tomorrow i will be live this weekend on the square is the big fourth of july celebration parade food food trucks all kinds of stuff going on this weekend here in bedford and um we're going to be open until nine o'clock we're going to be open from 11 o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock at night on saturday um, and then we're just going to be open our normal 11 to 5 on Friday. But we will be running a 20% off sale. So the whole store will be 20% off. So it's a really good day to come. But it's going to be a very long weekend for us. So um, now that I can go live on my phone, I might for a little bit, or at least do some clips on Instagram um, of all the festivities that will be happening. Because it's, it's kind of fun. They have a lot of bands playing. So... That's going on this weekend, and um, then I'm just counting down for my vacation. I'm still, 
don't know what I'm going to do. I think I will put my Poshmark, my Poshmark closet on hold. I think with my eBay listings, I'm just going to increase my, my shipping time. And then when I, I mean, if I'm still selling things the right that I'm selling them right now, it won't be much to send out an email to say that I'm on vacation. Thank you for your order. You know, that whole, you know, if you, if you don't want to wait, you can, you know, cancel your order. Um, but I don't want to put my closet or my um, store on vacation mode because I don't want to affect my um, search rankings because I've heard that that happens. So that's the plan there. And I will be going thrifting when we're on vacation. I mean, let's be honest. That's just what we do. We, our whole family does it. This is just what we do. We're thrifters and we go, we go thrifting even on vacation. But anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. If you haven't already, th hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, and thank you for joining me in on my crazy, my crazy madness here. And I didn't film yesterday because I was with my daughter. And so it was just special mother-daughter time. So I didn't film my thrifting experience yesterday. I will be doing a video like that very, very soon. I'm also going to be going to some antique malls and doing some thrifting, or not thrifting, some buying there. Going to an auction on Saturday. So I'm hoping to find some treasures there. I will be filming at that. So I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for joining. Bye.